Well, an atmospheric river is headed to the west coast this week, bringing rain, snow, flooding, and mudslides. Meteorologist Jorge Torres shows us what these atmospheric rivers are and what it means for our forecast here in Arizona. An atmospheric river is kind of like what it sounds like, right? It flows similarly to an actual river, but instead of liquid, it's a large, narrow, continuous band of water vapor in the sky. And these flowing swaths of moisture, which can range from 200 to 400 miles wide, push inland, then flow up the various mountain chains along the west coast, producing rain and even snow if it's cold enough through a process known as what you see on your screen or a graphic lift. And depending on the duration, atmospheric rivers can produce very heavy snow, flooding, and mudslides. In fact, meteorologists use a scale to determine just how long and how intense an atmospheric river event may be, going from AR1, which is weak and primarily beneficial, to AR5, which is exceptional and primarily hazardous. The forecast shows this atmospheric river event to be an AR4, or a mostly hazardous event for the Pacific Northwest, and the storm associated with this atmospheric river will also give Arizona a great chance of rain and snow later this week.